Hello, welcome to the video on solving one-step equations. This is our second example set, example set B. And of course, I hope you had a chance to watch the lesson and the previous example set. And if you did, you know that we're focused in on using inverse operations to solve these uh, basic one-step equations. So let's go ahead and tackle these equations. And of course, we want to always show all of our work. So our first one is 2x equals 14. Now, what does that mean, 2x? All right, well, that means multiplication. All right, so that means 2 times x. So I want to get the, if I want to get the x by itself, I have to use the inverse operation when I see multiplication. So that's going to be division. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 2. Okay. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to get x by itself. I want to isolate the variable. So if I divide 2, if I divide the left-hand side of the equation by 2, I also have to divide the right-hand side of the equation by 2. Okay. And when I do that, I get 2x divided by 2, and that's going to be equal to 1x. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so I got my x there. And I'm going to get 14 divided by 2, and that is 7. Okay, so 1x equals 7 is the same thing as x equals 7, and that's it. But the concept here, this is the big concept that I want you to get. We saw that what we had going on here next to the variable was multiplication. So we use division to solve our equation. Okay, remember, division is the inverse operation to multiplication. And that's the big picture that I want you to see. Okay, all right, so let's move on to our next problem here. So I have negative 3x equals 18. Okay, once again, this is negative 3 times x equals 18. So to get x by itself, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by negative 3. Now, for whatever reason, a lot of students like to just divide both sides of the equation by 3. Okay, they think that, well, they don't really need the sign. They just need the number. That's not the case. So if you made that error, don't beat yourself up too bad. A lot of students do that initially. Okay, you also have to use the sign. Okay, and we'll see here in a second. All right, so we want to divide both sides of the equation by negative 3. Okay, now let's see why we had to do that. Okay, because negative 3 divided by negative 3 is a positive 1. That's what we want. We want positive 1. If we just use 3, well, we got a negative 1. So this is going to be positive 1x, okay, or x, and that's going to be equal to 18 divided by negative 3, which, of course, is negative 6. All right, so just a reminder, if you're struggling with these positive negative numbers, if you're still questioning, let me see, a negative divided by negative is a kind of guessing at that, then you're probably still pretty weak, and that's going to come up over and over again when you're solving equations. So you want to go back and review and really make sure you're strong in that area. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to our next two problems. So here we have negative 4 times y, or negative 4y equals negative 20. So I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by negative 4 to get that y by itself. Okay. And it's actually pretty easy once you get going, but you always want to show your work. Just don't do this in your head and say, just write the answer down. Okay, you got to show your work. So negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1. So I'm just going to get 1y or y. And a negative 20 divided by negative 4 is a positive 5. All right, next problem. Here I have a negative x equals 3 and 2 thirds. So right here, this is pretty close to being solved. Okay, x equals 3 and 2 thirds would be nothing to do. That problem is completely solved. But we have a negative there. So that's really like a negative 1. x equals 3 and 2 thirds. So I still need to solve for x. I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by negative 1. Okay, I need to have x by itself, a positive x, not a negative x. So if I do this, I'll get that positive x. So negative 1x divided by negative 1 is a positive x and then 3 and 2 thirds divided by negative 1 is negative 3 and 2 thirds. Okay, so let's move on to our next two problems. So hopefully by now you're like, oh, this is pretty easy. And that's great, but you still want to practice it and you always want to show all your work. So here I have 6x equals 30. Okay, so to solve for x, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 6. So 6 divided by 6 is x, and 30 divided by 6 is 5. 
there's our solution. Next problem, negative 10z equals negative 100. So once again, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by negative 10z, just not negative, t or not just 10, negative 10. Okay. And notice I'm always showing my work, and that's what you want to do. So negative 10 divided by negative 10 is a positive 1, or that's just going to be 1z, or z equals a negative 100 divided by a negative 10, and that is a positive 10. Once again, if you're struggling with those positive negative number rules, if you have to think about it like a long time, you have to really like, okay, a negative divided by a positive is a this and that, you know, if you're getting them right, that's great. But if you're still like questioning whether you really know it, you want to go back and review. You really want to master that stuff, okay? All right. Let's go on to our last two problems. So our last two problems are still pretty easy. So basically, we're still going to be dividing both sides of the equation by a number. But in this case, it's, we're going to be dealing with decimals. No big deal. So hopefully you have your calculator out. I have 8.1w equals 0 0.02. So to get w by itself, okay, I'm going to have to divide both sides of the equation by 8.1. Okay. So 8.1 divided by 8.1 is simply 1, or w, 1w. And then 0 0.02 divided by 8.1, and I'm plugging this to my calculator as we speak, will be equal to somewhere around 0 0.002 four six nine or so. Okay, so if you got those digits, then you did it correctly. Okay. So just because we're dealing with decimals, the principle is still the same. All right, our last problem, we have a negative 0 0.002t equals 1.039. So to get t by itself, I'm going to have to divide both sides of the equation by negative by this negative 0 0.002. So let's go and write that out. Negative 0 0.002 I'm going to divide that by both sides of the equation. So here I'm going to have 1.039, a positive 1.039, divided by a negative uh, 0 0.002. I know my answer is going to be negative, so now all I have to do is use my calculator to get the actual answer. So 1.039 divided by negative 0 0.002 is going to be equal to a negative 519. Point five. Okay, so that's what t is going to be equal to. All right, so still basic one-step equations. Okay, they require one step, but the whole key here is to understand why you're taking this one step. Okay, um, in this particular video, we focused on using division as our inverse operations. In a previous example, we were looking at addition and subtraction. Okay, so. Uh, if you're still struggling with this, two things. If you're struggling with positive negative numbers or some of those other things, go back and review. And if you're still a little shaky on inverse operations, what we're talking about, certainly go back to that lesson and brush up. All right, so keep working hard. We'll see you soon.